hello and welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial we shall be looking at how our checkmate report generator works now when you get your template this is likely how it will look like it will be in a zip file so you are expected to unzip the file before using to unzip you likely could right click and select look for extract archives here and click let's wait for it to extract so here is the checkmate template file you are expected to use now to use this file you are expected not to work directly on the main template that was sent to you the original template sent to you what you should do is to make a copy for each of your classes so here I'm going to make a copy so I'm going to right click and uh, copy and then paste so with this I can name it to the respective class I wish to work with let me make it a little more descriptive something like that so now I have my file I can double click to open it and start working so my file is open now and here is our checkmate report template what we have here is the first interface which is called the class data this page here you are expected to enter the subjects offered in that class the class details and the class members scrolling to the right you can set the grade scale if this doesn't meet your school standard you can set the reports comment generated for the principal or for the head teacher you can set a pass mark you can also set the affective domain and psychometric domain parameters here so to navigate to other areas and pages in this template click on this cell and go to click on the appropriate option now let's see if, let's go to first time Once you click it, you can see some new tabs open up for us, which is um, related to the f option we have chosen. So here is the first terms course area. This is where you enter uh, this course for that class. And then this is the reports page for first term. If we go back to data page, to class data. And pick second term will be presented with the same op similar option but for second term and second term report the same for third term third term scores and third term report We have other pages like the images and the session cumulative broadsheet which we have here. So in the next video we will be looking at how to enter data into the entire template. What I'm going to do is I already have a sample template which I filled in data into so I'm going to be opening it and showing us around it. Thank you for watching. Hello and welcome to video 2 of this tutorial. Here I have the sample template like I mentioned earlier. So I'm going to attempt to open it.
okay my file is open and you can see that I've already prefilled this template this sample with some data here I've entered the session here for the session there's a drop-down box you are expected to pick and the appropriate session here so in this case we've chosen 2022-2023 the class is just 3 I've entered it you can just type it in the class teacher's name is Mr. Deliki Femi and we We've also imputed the principal's name. Here we've imputed some of the subjects. This are just this is just a test template. It may not be exactly reflective of what happens in a typical class. We just put the examples there. So these are some fictitious names as well. They are not real names. And some other fictitious data as well. We've left um, the grade scale the same and we've set our pass mark to be 50. If the pass mark is pass mark is left empty, the default pass mark will be 40. So I'll show us what what does that, that does. Now I want to go to first time. Custom scores, so we've entered some scores here. What you can do, you can change. You can change the overall C scores if your school does 30, 70, and it's going to update the remaining. Or I will leave it at 40, 70. You can enter that the scores here. This for the CA and here's for the exam. The names of the students will be populated here automatically, while the subjects will be uh, populated here at the top row automatically as well. So as you can see, let me change this course to 35. Like we said, like I said, this is a fictitious template, so you can see the course is updating itself. And let's say I reduce this to 42. So that's what you do to enter the scores for all of the students or class members. By the time you scroll to the extreme right, you notice the total number of students offered and then the student average. Here you can enter the, you know, the attendance of each student. So this sample also have taken the time to enter some of this attendance. As for other like others, you can always click on the cell and uh, change the attendance and type in the attendance. So that's how it works basically. In teacher's comment, you can type in your teacher's comment and also type in your head teacher or principal's comment in this space provided. By the time you continue to go to your extreme right, here you have your assertive domain and then here you have the psychometer domain. So here you can either type in or you select from the drop down. So depending on the parameters, you write in, you enter in the appropriate data for each child. And lastly, Important dates, school date the school resumed for the term, you can type it in here. Date school closed, you type it in here. When next term re resumes, you type it in here. Reports the day you are signing the reports, you type it in here. And the number of times school open, you type it in here. So these are all the data that are required by the reports for it to be completely executed. So once we are done in this page and we head over to the reports page so here in the report page you are expected this will come empty so you are expected to select the individual name to just to see an example for you have done in this example I've, i don't think i uploaded some pictures so let me just choose i think the first one has a picture okay so that's what it looks like 
based on all of this course we've entered for this particular child or student. There's a clickable signature box picture here which you can always change to your to your principal or head teacher signature. Once you right click on it and you click on change picture so it will take you to your desktop or where you have you have your signature stored and you can change the picture there so that's and then this shows you the cumulative score for the term so for first term what you are going to see here is going to be the same as the first term the second term this will be populated and the average will be obtained to get the cumulative for second term so the whole of first term second term and then the community for third term during third term will also appear here so we're going to look at all that so this is basically an overview of how the report looks like and then the pass mark is uh, once the result once the student's performance the cumulative performance is above our pass mark as set in the home page or in the class data page and this will be set to pass now to print you can either print directly to your printer or print with pdf so you can select the range you want to print if you leave it empty it will print the entire report card so, but i want to print from just for sample i want to print from one to uh, four, five. and since i don't have a printer connected that will send to PDF. So this is asking me where I want to save the document. So I'm going to choose my desktop and check it. Yeah. Maybe I want to make a new folder for results. So this is up to you, but where you wish to save your results to. So I've selected that folder and then it's going to generate all the PDF reports for me. And by the time I go back to that um, folder, I, sh I should find my data there with it for me. The results. So here are the reports I just generated as you can see so let me go back So that's how this works and then school date school resumed that's what appears here and the date school vacated that's what appears here the number of times school open appears here and then the sign date this is where it appears next time begin appears below here so this gives you a complete report so it's the same thing that happens for all the terms for both second and third term there's basically no difference in the report appearance and all the scores entry it's the same thing for the three times as you can see and then if we head to the report it's basically the same thing they are all the same but well, the difference here is that in second term you have the second term cognitive average being populated and then uh, the average is calculated at six points Nine two two. Okay, the, the values are the same. You can adjust the signature as you, as you wish. And then for totem as well. the same and then the report this time around 
we have it three times and then the cumulative is obtained and then the pass mark is assigned if the cumulative is greater than the pass mark we are set at the, at the beginning of the year. Brush it, final brush it, so the cumulative brush it. So this generates the cumulative brush it for us, and as we can scroll to the right. It lays out all of the subjects for us. This can be printed. So you can print the results as you like. So that's how this whole template works. And uh, if you have any question, please you can reach us on our numbers already on the screen. Here or you can see it flashing on the screen somewhere. So thank you for watching and uh, do have a nice day. Bye.